Howdy folks. In this video I'm going to show you how to use various zoom options when you're in Adobe Acrobat Pro DC. So your basic zoom options can be found on the toolbar. You have your little minus. You can just click that icon to zoom out and of course click the plus icon to zoom in. And you'll notice that the percentage in this little box changes and this is actually a selector where you can say, you know, give me the actual size here at 100% or zoom out to 25% or if you want to get ridiculous, you can go into 6400% at which point you would have to use your little scrollers here to move around and you can also use your mouse wheel to roll up and down, all right? Well, let's get to something a little more reasonable here. Now we also have this icon here with the four arrows and that's to fit a full page, right? Which if you have your uh, screen large enough or the document fonts are large enough is a great way to read a document because you got exactly the whole page there to see and you can press page up or page down just to get to the next full page, right? So it's kind of like a one click next page for sure you're reading everything and seeing everything, all right? So the last icon to do with zooming here is the fit window width, with the little left right arrow. You click on that and you get that standard fit width and you just scroll up and down and you don't have to worry about scrolling left and right. So there are more advanced zoom options and we can get to those by clicking on view and going into the zoom menu. I'm sorry that that's outside of the screen here. And um, we have all these options. So we have zoom to, which gives us a similar drop down option to what we have on the toolbar. Okay. We have a marquee zoom which lets you actually select a box. So you can click and drag. And when you let go, whatever you have uh, selected in that box, it's gonna zoom to that, okay? And if, if you do a really skinny box, right, like so, it'll center that within the aspect ratio of your viewing area. Now, once more here, we go to the view, there, sorry, the zoom menu, and we have dynamic zoom. And when you click on that, you can roll your mouse wheel and it'll zoom in and out like so, you know. If you roll up, it zooms in. If you roll down, it zooms out. And our next option here is actual size. And you'll notice that they have uh, keyboard shortcuts listed. So we could go to the zoom menu or we can go to uh, pressing control one on our keyboard. Okay. So this brings us to a hundred percent. We can see that reflected here in the percentage window there. And we have our zoom to page level, which is the same as the icon on the toolbar fit width, similar fit height, which is, uh, gives us in this uh, instance the same result as zoom to page level. Okay, and we have fit visible, visible, which in this view gives us the same as the full width there. And we have pan and zoom, which gives us this nice little tool here where we can move the box around and the usefulness of this is that you see a, a, a representation of the full page and you can move the box to where you know you need it to be, right? So if there was a little picture you needed to see, you'd see a tiny thumbnail of that. And the other nice thing is that you can resize the box, okay? Now it stays with, its, it keeps the aspect ratio of your viewing area, right? So, you know, I can't make it tall and skinny, but I can make it smaller or bigger, you see? And then we can just move that around and see how we are. And it, it tells us where we are and we can 
you know, plus and minus here to make it larger and smaller as well. And we can even switch pages, okay? And this little icon here is goes to the last page in the document. And then this one lights up here, we can go to the first page, all right? So that's actually quite useful for complex documents and when you're getting kind of lost visually when you're zooming. Now the final bit is the loop tool. And that gives us a box that we can move around and it's a little off screen here, so we'll go here. And wherever we move the box, this loop window uh, shows us the content and we can resize that loop window of course we wouldn't normally have them overlapping like this and get a, uh, a different zoom level simply by uh, resizing the window also you can pull this little tab here to set a different zoom level of course the larger the zoom level the smaller the box Right? So that can be also very handy uh, when you're trying to look at very small particular details. Right? You're checking out tiny bits of your document uh, while still having the full document uh, in front of you as a reference. And because this can be moved around, uh, it'd be great if you had, say, a second monitor. You could throw it onto there, fill the monitor with it, and get a really nice zoom. So I hope this has helped you to learn how to zoom into your documents properly with Adobe Acrobat Pro DC. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.